Welcome to our presentation, Valiant Women of the Vote, Black Women's Suffrage, and the Sorority That Made a Difference. Before 1920, women did not have the right to vote in the United States. The movement which fought for these rights and the people who were part of that movement were called suffragists. While the movement consisted mostly of white women, there was one group only one, with brave women of color who had formed a sorority on the campus of a black university in Washington, D.C. After only two months in existence, they plunged headlong into the center of a controversial political movement. The Tarrant County Black Historical and Genealogical Society proudly presents our tribute to the groundbreaking sorrows of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority, Incorporated. On March 3, 1913, women advocating for the right to vote marched down Pennsylvania Avenue in Washington, D.C., from the U.S. Capitol to the Treasury Building. Despite an unwelcome reception from National American Women's Suffrage Association organizers, 22 members of the newly formed Delta Sigma Theta sorority from Howard University joined the march. Delta Sigma Theta sorority is being honored in this informative exploration of the role of African American women in the struggle for political equality through the right to vote. The 19th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution prohibits the states and the federal government from denying the right to vote to citizens of the United States based on gender. Initially introduced to Congress in 1878 and after several attempts, the 19th Amendment was officially adopted on August 26, 1920, after more than 40 years of legal battles. Sadly, the struggle for the vote did not end with the ratification of the 19th Amendment. In some southern states, African American women were unable to freely exercise their right to vote until the 1960s. I feel that I have the right to have just as much as a man. There's a great stir about colored men getting their rights, but not a word about the colored woman. And if colored men get their rights and colored women not theirs, the colored men will be masters over the women, and it will be just as bad as it was before. Abolitionist Sir Jonah Truth, 1867 the 15th Amendment gave black men the right to vote, but fear of brutality, poll taxes, and literacy tests were some of the white supremacist actions that disenfranchised them and kept them from filling out a ballot. Likewise, black women faced the same barriers to registering to vote and participating in the political sphere after the 19th Amendment. Despite these epic challenges, black women were committed to fighting for full citizenship. 
Tarrant County historian and civic leader Lenora Rolla was very instrumental in registering African Americans despite Texas poll tax for state and local offices. In 1966, when Texas finally repealed the poll tax, Lenora Rolla was serving as the administrative assistant to State Representative Don Kennard. One hundred years later, voter suppression and voter disenfranchisement continues. One hundred years later, protests and legal action continue. One hundred years later, the struggle continues. If you ever Search a crowd And you see her Standing tall and proud No, she's a Delta D -E -L -T -A. Delta all the way, yeah, yeah, cause you know the road was, oh yes, long and hard, but we made it, we We love you, yes we do, with all our might, and we love it, bad, red, and white, oh, oh, oh Delta, D. Delta, Delta. Mm -hmm.